Let's talk about cloud management. This is complementary to remote monitoring and management, a topic area of interest, and what we're going to talk about today on What I Tell Investors. So let's put this in context. What is cloud management? For me, cloud management is the next generation and extension of the concepts of a remote monitoring and management tool. Now, if you're not familiar what an RMM or remote monitoring and management tool is, I've got a video on that that'll walk you through that. Essentially, the idea of a way of managing devices remotely and doing all the monitoring and management, as you might guess from the name. Whole video on that if you're not familiar and you wanna dive into that space. As we've moved to more and more cloud-enabled systems, it's logical if your philosophy is, I must manage and monitor all the things to extend that out to the cloud world. Now, that's where cloud management comes in, is if you are the IT provider that is managing all of these disparate systems for your customers, you need tools that'll let you do it. And thus, there's the extension area that is cloud management. In my mind, this could be an entire product category, or it would have logically been an extension of those existing remote monitoring and management players. That's not how the market has played out. Let's talk for a moment about the two kinds of cloud management and how they get confused. Because in order to understand that, you've got to put cloud into its two basic buckets. First is infrastructure as a service, and second is software as a service. On the infrastructure side of the house, this is the idea of putting those pieces of infrastructure running on a cloud-based infrastructure instead. So virtual servers, virtual networking, virtual firewalls, all of those kinds of things that live in the cloud. If you want to run your own infrastructure, but you don't want to do it on-premise, you want to do it in the cloud, that's infrastructure as a service. Software as a service, of course, is the idea of instead of running those applications, you move them into the cloud. Whereas a piece of software runs on a piece of infrastructure, software as a service abstracts all of that, so you're just simply consuming the software. This is where it gets interesting, because cloud is all of that. And so when I talk about cloud management, it's really easy to get confused about what we're talking about managing. Because oftentimes, anyone looking at this space often focuses on the infrastructure as a service, particularly because for mid-market and enterprise customers, this is the critical need. Rather than run your own infrastructure, you're going to move it out into a cloud system, and thus, you need a way of managing that. For an enterprise, this is absolutely the logical way that they're going to go. And thus, they need to manage Amazon Web Services, they need to manage Microsoft Azure, they need to manage Google Cloud Platform, whatever their cloud platform is, they need to manage it. And there's been a lot of focus here. And in particular, thus the confusion because these RMM platforms have started looking at that and saying, oh yes, we can do cloud management because we can manage these infrastructure as a service offerings. This is where the SMB becomes vastly different. The typical SMB is not moving to infrastructure as a service. In fact, they're moving to software as a service. Instead of having all of this infrastructure, they're just moving those out and consuming purely as software as a service. Thus, as an IT provider, you need a solution to monitor and manage all of these SaaS applications. Microsoft 365, Google Workplace, Dropbox, Box, Salesforce, all of those pieces, you need to do all of the monitoring and management. That includes add remove changes, that, remove, that includes the uptime monitoring, that includes security configuration monitoring. All of the things you need to do, you want to do that from a central location. It's one thing to have to log into all of these various management consoles. It's another to pull it all together in a single platform. So what goes in to a cloud management solution? Well, when we put our SMB lens on this, we think about what they need from a SaaS application perspective. If I've moved my organization 
fully into the cloud, I'm consuming a number of SaaS applications. For example, I might be a Microsoft 365 shop. I may mean, have my accounting in QuickBooks Online. I may be using Dropbox for my file storage, and I may be using some line of business application. For example, perhaps I use Salesforce. When I onboard a new person, my add remove changes comes from there. I want to set that person up across all of those systems, and I want to do it consistently. And I want to make sure that the security profile for that person is enforced consistently. And this is the gap in the market, because right now there aren't a lot of solutions that are focused on just doing this. Now, many have started by addressing one of those solutions. For example, they may manage Microsoft 365, but they don't do anything else. Not saying that there isn't a need in that alone. Oftentimes the tools provided by the vendor are not as robust as the APIs that are available or comprehensive enough to truly solve all the needs, but they haven't moved into a multi-vendor solution. I also want to acknowledge that's hard. Doing the same thing across multiple disparate systems, leveraging multiple APIs and keeping those up to date becomes a very complex problem very fast. That's why it hasn't been done particularly well or at all yet. That's not to say the need isn't there and that's what I'm focused on. What are the requirements? Well. From an implementation perspective, we may have some basic areas. We need to be able to do those add or remove changes. We want to be able to watch the configuration and make sure it stays consistent over time. We want to be alerted on anything that is a variation of, from our standards. And we want to know about incidents and events that happen. Those are a very basic set. And additionally, we want to be able to do it across N number of vendors, meaning more than just one and up to as many as I can. So there's going to be an area of requirements for a vendor here to have an integration framework that works consistently so they can roll this out over multiple vendors. Again, it's a complex problem and thus why we're not necessarily moving as fast as we might want to in the space. But those for me are the big elements of what I'm looking for from a requirements perspective. Now, who are the players? This falls into sort of two areas first. There's the incumbent remote monitoring and management players that theoretically should be playing in this space. The MSP Big Four, like ConnectWise, Kaseya, Datto, and Enable should be looking at the SaaS management space. And there's all the new upstarts. There's companies like SaaS Alerts, Augment, Nuvalex, that are looking at the ways that they can do elements of this and pull it together into a large solution. That's not a comprehensive list. It's not an exhaustive list. It's just the kinds of companies that are out there working on this problem. When I think about who has the pieces, however, it's kind of different. Those new upstarts are building it fresh. They come with none of the legacy baggage of previous technologies and can start from that scratch position. So they're able to move very rapidly. But you might look at some of those legacy players and say they have some of the components. For example, as an example, not an endorsement, somebody like Datto has their cloud backup solutions. That means they're already calling into these systems from a backup perspective. Thus, they have the pieces to leverage the APIs and could build on that. So in theory, they have the pieces. The question is, are they investing to build out this solution? Why is this so important? Because this is ultimately the future of the typical SMB. One of my most popular videos is if I was starting an MSP today. And the what I talk about in there is, is how I would build a solution provider around the idea of doing consultancy services across their technology needs, and I would deploy everything in the cloud. But if I have multiple systems all running in the cloud, I as the IT service provider are gonna get efficiencies by having a single dashboard viewing into all those systems. That was my remote monitoring and management platform in a infrastructure on-prem focused world. In the future world of all cloud and particularly all cloud SaaS, 
There's a hole there. There isn't a single solution that steps in and solves that. And in fact, there's a complexity problem of the fact that I have to log into multiple vendors portals in order to do that work. And that's the market opportunity. It's why I'm so interested in this space because it solves the classic, I must monitor and manage all of those systems for my customers for the new world. I think that's where the market is going, and I'm interested in it from that perspective. Now, I'm going to address the problem of, am I possibly wrong here? Because there's an also strategy play of the way Microsoft, for example, is thinking about management. From Microsoft's perspective, they're moving management in their Intune and their Microsoft Endpoint Manager solutions to the idea of checking configuration before entry. Is that the holistic solution? No, I actually don't think it is. Where I think that that is, is that's focused on decreasing the importance of the endpoints by making sure things come in correctly configured, but it still doesn't solve the multi sas solution problem. I'm not only using just the Microsoft systems, I'm using other parties as well. It's not there, I'm using solutions like an accounting solution, a line of business application, potentially other partners for other solutions, and I still have that problem. While I can do some of the management that I want to on cloud access, I can't necessarily get insight into those cloud systems, and thus why I think this is important. Thanks for listening. If you've got additional questions, please don't hesitate to drop something into the comments there. I love having a discussion about this because I think this is where it's all going and what's kind of interesting about the space. Additionally, if you're interested, I do a daily podcast called The Business of Tech, five minutes of news and commentary for IT service providers that gives insights into the marketplace. Look forward to hearing from you and let's keep the conversation going online. Thanks a lot. Thank you.